Good morning, you guys. It is, I don't even know what time it is. This is going to be probably a long video. It's 10 o'clock. Tyler is sleeping. Hopefully she sleeps during this whole video. You guys have been asking for this video, oh my gosh, for a long time. And I don't know, I just like, don't mind. Look how amazing is this thing. This is from Ulta. It's just, I just use it when I'm doing makeup or, um, wash my face or like I'll wear this in the shower and just so my like back of my hair or anything doesn't get wet but anyways yeah it's from Ulta if you're wondering I'm like horrible at filming these types of videos because it's not a tutorial at all let me clean this lens okay yeah it's not a tutorial at all it's so hard to film when I am like trying to look in the mirror so I have a mirror here so if you see me looking over this way that's because I I need to look in my mirror I cannot do my makeup just looking at this viewfinder i'll try but i doubt i'll be able to do it but anyways i'm just going to share you, with you guys what products i'm using and all that jazz so let's get started so this isn't like forever long even though i'm sure it will be um and i'm going to try to be good at showing you guys the products that i'm using for right now i'm putting on a primer it's the maybelline baby skin instant pore eraser primer i got that at ulta but i'm sure they have it like you know, CVS, Walgreens, Target, wherever. Let me know over on Instagram because obviously you can't like, um, what's it called? You can't comment here because YouTube's awesome. So you have to comment over on Instagram. But you guys, I feel like are pretty good at commenting over on Instagram um, in my DMs. So I appreciate that. But I just, I already put moisturizer on. I'm using the CeraVe moisturizer for Christmas. I asked for, um... For Christmas, Rob asked me to like send him a couple ideas and even though I really don't need anything, but the one thing that I would like is um, new like skincare products and the stuff that I want is by Drunk Elephant, but it's so expensive and it's like I won't just go out and get it myself. So I'm like, oh, let me ask for it for Christmas because then if I really like it, then I would like save up and get it each time that I like needed it and I'm going to make sure that I am very good at like preserving it um like using the right amount because a lot of times like I'll put moisturizer on and I'm like putting way too much on but anyways I should have put this on before this <clears throat> sorry but this is the Tula skincare glow and get it cooling and brightening eye balm um so you can put it it also says like you can do it on your under eye um and you can also put it like where you want like kind of like highlight to your face um so I just like so yeah so just like dab that on like that and then just blend in this was $28 from Ulta um it has really good reviews I don't think it's worth $28 so looks like that and then oops what happened to the thing what happened to it? Oh, it's right here. I'm about to say, I always put this thing on. It just has this like little ah cap that I always keep on. So it looks like like a chapstick or something. But um, I do like it. Like I like the feeling of it. But I just don't know if it's worth um, $28. I'm not sure about that. But anyways, okay. So got my moisturizer on and I usually let that sit for like five minutes i'll do like my eyebrows or go and do something um but i'm not waiting that long i should have already put my moisturizer on but okay whoops oh okay so i got my new foundation this was the one that i've been using and i like but it doesn't last like all day on me this is the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation i do like this and i'm in shade 460 but my new foundation that I have been wearing is by Too Faced. This is like, I've bought so many bottles of this. And this is my favorite foundation and also my It Cosmetics foundation that I am. That's right here. I have that. So I kind of like alternate, but this one I'm like almost running out of. But anyways, I am in shade Golden Beige. Okay. Oh. I have like this giant sweatshirt on. These 
these things are ten dollars at walmart they're so comfy and i this is an extra large like i get it really baggy um okay so i just do one pump at first and i go use and then i use my it cosmetics makeup brush this is the number six this is an expensive brush and now i'm just gonna go ahead see this like matches my skin really well um and the one thing is stinks right now is because of covid um they won't like color matches so i went in and i went to go buy the foundation and i'm like horrible at color matching myself obviously i couldn't do that anyways but like just looking at a bottle trying to figure it out i'm horrible so like i use the app and all that to try to figure it out and i got the wrong shade so i had to go back return it and get the right one i this was the one i was like thinking of that i needed in the first place and i was like oh i don't know and i ended up getting one that was a little bit too like cool undertones which i have like golden like yellowish undertones okay so now i'm just doing my foundation right now I'm hoping Tyler stays asleep for this whole video. But I haven't put up a video in like two, over two weeks, you know. You now, I cannot talk. I haven't put a video up in like two weeks now. Over two weeks. I've just been really busy. Um, getting like Christmas stuff done. And we went on vacation. And we went on vacation. And now um, I'm like all ready for Christmas. I'm all wrapped. Literally, I have like two things that aren't wrapped that aren't going to be wrapped. Um, where's my little mirror? I always have like this little mirror that I look at because <laughs> even with contacts, like I can't see that well um, in my mirror. I have to be like really close up. I really like this um, makeup brush. Sometimes I'll switch between this and the Beauty Blender. It just depends what I'm feeling, but I mainly use this brush. Yeah, so two of the things that aren't wrapped. Um, one of the things is here, but it's like, it's Paxton's big gift. And I just don't want it to, I don't want to put it together and then like have it for us, like him seeing it somehow. So I'm just like leaving it in the box hidden um, until it's closer to Christmas. And then I will put it together and like put a bag over it or like just wrap it i guess like put a bow on it or something um and then maverick's gift that he's getting it's like custom where it's like they make them to order so that's not here yet so i'm not wrapping that anyways but yeah i'm so excited about that gift because i did so much like searching for a good gift for him because he didn't really like ask for a big gift and i was like what could i get him that's a like, different that what he would really love I did a lot of research and I was like so excited that I found this and thank god I ordered it when I did because it takes like three to four weeks so I'm like praying to god that it's like here before Christmas time okay so now my foundation's on um I got this new whatever it's called concealer it's medium one custard I hate this foundation on I mean concealer under my eyes I do not like it at all I don't recommend it but I got that um my favorite found oh and i also got this which i don't know if i like this either it's the bye bye under eye full coverage anti-aging concealer i don't know I can, I can my favorite concealer is where is it i like the tarte one but this one is good for like i have like fine lines under my eyes and like darkness um and this one it's the lancome waterproof anti cern whatever that is long lasting concealer i really really like this a lot i don't even know what shade i'm in it doesn't say so anyways i go ahead and i put my concealer kind of like further down like not so much right here and then i just like bring it up if that makes sense but let me know over on instagram if you guys are done christmas shopping or if you've started or um what's like a gift that you're getting your kids that you're so excited about because i'm really excited about um to well i'm excited about all the gifts but maverick's a gift i'm like most excited about and then the one other gift that i got i'm excited about 
Anyways, yeah, so I put my concealer on. Sometimes I put it on with my beauty blender. Most of the time I put it on with my finger, just I think it looks the best and most like natural. And then I just like put it up on my eyelid as like primer for my eyeshadow. I don't put too much because when I put too much, it just does not look good. And where is my brush? I should always have my brushes like ready. And then I'm using my favorite under eye powder. This is the Bye Bye Pores Press. It's basically for like your pores, but I really like this under my eye. And I also forgot my um, other Laura Mercier setting powder at my dad's house. So yeah, I don't know if I told you guys this, but um, my parents, they sold their, like my childhood home just like a few in october so they sold it in october i think their move out date was november november i forget exactly when it was i want to say it was november but anyways my parents they're still married but they like split up and so now they are living separate they just have a better relationship separate so something i like never talk about and i don't really plan on talking about it like any further than that but so like when i say my dad's house you guys know like okay not just like my mom and dad's house it's my dad's house and then my mom's house so if you ever hear me referring to that that's what i'm talking about but anyways uh okay so now i have my under eye set and then i'm just gonna set a little bit on my pores and this i love this powder i think it's like so worth it this is a trial so if you get stuff from sephora and this comes on there i definitely recommend trying this out i have had like the full um what's it called i've had the full what is it called like packaging but i had it in like the loose this is the pressed one but i like them both a lot and i ran out so when i ordered new makeup and i saw this was on there i was like oh that'll last me a long time so that's what i did okay so now oh my gosh my debt my leg is going dead now i'm gonna go ahead and put my contour on see i have this mirror here but i like need to get close but if i get too close then i'm not in the frame so i'm using this little mirror Oh, and now I almost forgot to tell you. I'm using the Anastasia um, Contour Kit Light to Medium. This thing is like my favorite contour um, powder. And I'm just using this Morphe M523 brush. Looks like this. Yeah, I'm asking for like skincare stuff for um, Christmas from Rob, which I'm so excited about. And I ordered the one thing, two of the things are by Drunk Elephant. And then the one is, I don't know, it's like a bestseller on Sephora. So I asked for that. So whatever he gets me, I'll be so excited about. And Oh, and I also asked for, not from Rob, but for like Pollyanna's, I also asked for either like a gift card or... Um, What's it called? Or a gel nail kit for Christmas. I got the dip nails when I went on vacation and I love it, but it's like, oh, it's hard for me to spend like that much money, especially like them here is more expensive. I think in Jersey it's like $35 and I think here it's like 40 something dollars. So it's a little bit more pricey here, especially with tip because I always leave like a $10 tip um, when I get my nails done. So it's like ends up being a lot this powder okay don't judge me i'm using this l'oreal infallible paints and it's like broken so we're gonna go back and forth oh my gosh i can't stand when blush breaks it's so annoying all my like good blush i've ran out of i need to get more but i love blush some people don't like blush i'm like who are you i seriously am obsessed with blush um Probably too much. Sometimes I probably have too much on, but you know, it's fine. It's really fine. 
Okay, so here it is. A little bit too much. It's a little bit too much. See right here? It's like dark right here. Yeah, that's um, I think that's for my my glasses, my regular glasses that I had on. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is contour my nose. Oh, and I also for Black Friday I treated myself. I got myself Christmas present. I got two new palettes because I haven't had like a new eye palette in like a while. The last eye palette that I bought was the Shane Dawson Jeffree Star um, palette. I like that palette, but it's definitely not a palette I like gravitate towards most often. So these ones I am like obsessed with and which one should I use? I think I'll use this one. This is the Urban Decay Honey Palette and these on Black Friday were $25. And they're usually 50. So, yay. This is what this looks like. It's so pretty. I love gold. And this one is also my favorite. Because if you guys know me, you know I love like... I love like maroons and stuff. Oh, it's just so pretty. It is gorgeous. But for people who probably... Not everyone like gravitates towards these types of colors. but So I'm just going to use this one. Because I feel like this is like more neutral. So if you're thinking about getting a palette or you got this for um, Black Friday, that's the palette I'm using. But anyways, oh, so this brush, I need to get new makeup brushes, um, like flat makeup brushes. Okay, so I'm doing my contour my nose and this is just the little brush I use. It just comes with the Urban Decay palette. So I don't use this for my eyes. I just use it to contour my nose, which I am not the best at contouring my nose, but <laughs> I try. It's like I'm also not the best at contour not contouring. Um, I'm also not the best at um, doing my eyebrows. Some people are so good at doing their eyebrows. Thankfully, I do have a decent amount of eyebrows because if I had like no eyebrows and I had to like actually draw the whole thing on there, I would be in trouble because it would not be good. Okay, so Rob and Maverick went riding this morning because. Rob doesn't have work until tonight because he's working nights this week. Well, not this week, just today and yesterday. So I'm so happy that he took Maverick to go riding because it'll give them some one-on-one -on -one time. And Maverick, the past, well, I say past days, um, yesterday and today, he's been really good. So I'm glad that he got to earn to go with Rob. I'm just like blending my nose out. Look at this like darker. This I think it's either from my my glasses. I think it's from my glasses it's like that dark area. Or it could be from self tanner. <laughs> Who knows. Okay so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just powder like the sides of my noses. Noses like I have two. No. My nose. Side of my nose. I am not the best at this but... It's fine. I really would usually wet my sponge, but I'm not going to do that, so. And I don't really care because I'm not going anywhere. But this is what I do um, every day. I do my makeup like this pretty much every single day. Um, even when I'm going nowhere. I feel better, like more awake when I have my makeup done. It just makes me feel better and I feel like I'm more, being more productive. I feel gross when I don't do my makeup. Not gross, like I don't mind me without makeup, but just like some sort of makeup, it makes me feel like more awake. And like, say I'm not feeling good. Usually I'm always feeling good, but like when I was pregnant, I would just do my makeup even though I didn't feel like I wanted to. Oh, that's hurting my ears. I would do my makeup um, and I would, like that would help me feel better. Okay, so now I have my nose done and stuff and stuff and then i'm gonna go ahead and just powder a little bit right here and right here and oh my gosh this is not usually where i do my makeup so it's kind of like things are all out of the place out of the place does that make sense probably not and you can still see like some like imperfections and stuff but i don't like try to cover like them up where you can't see them at all like i'm i didn't put any concealer usually i put concealer here 
like on my forehead and a little bit on my nose, but I forgot and I already put powder on, so I'm gonna skip this part. Again, I'm not going anywhere, so it's fine. And then look at this little, these little beauty blenders I got. They're so cute. Here it is. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit, Glow Sun Dipped Kit. Cassidy got this for me for Christmas last year and I still use it every day, but I just dip my little little beauty blender in there. This is not by beauty blender. How boring is this video, you guys? I feel like I'm boring you. Um, anyway, so I just put it right here, just a little bit. What am I kidding? That was kind of a lot. All right, now I'm gonna put a little bit right here. And then I just put a tiny bit on my nose, on the tip of my nose. So there you go, see this like shine on my head? It's from my um, <laughs> mirror right here that has a light on it. But anyways, so there is my like foundation and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and just like sweep my under eyes just a little bit. Sweep like any excess off my under eyes, just like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes. Oh my gosh, you guys, I feel like this is like so boring for you guys, but so many people ask for this video. So I am, I mean, I feel like if you don't want to watch it, you wouldn't watch it. So anyways, I'm going to go in. Did I show you everything I was using? I think so. I'm going to go in with this first color. This is Flyby. And I'm just like putting this all over this like flat brush. Nothing special. I don't even know what brush this is. Actually, I think this is a decent brush. It came in a kit. Is that a holiday kit? I forget. Okay, anyways, I'm going all over my lid with this color. And just going up to my brow bone. And I am like feel like I'm going kind of fast. Um, so yeah, what I do every day, I need to do a um, like a day in the life video because that's a video that a lot of people have been asking about even though I feel like when I vlog it kind of is like a day in the life. But you're not like seeing my whole routine. So I definitely want to do that for you guys, and oh my gosh, I'm... here it is. Okay, now I'm just going in with like a dome brush, and going in with Swarm. This is like the third one in. I like have to use a mirror. I like cannot just like look. I cannot do it in the viewfinder. Um... I forget what I was saying. What was I saying? Oh, crap. I forget. Oh, the day in the life. But so you guys don't see like my full routine of what I do throughout the day. So I will film that for you guys hopefully soon. And so many people ask me what I do to get my hair like this. I use, it's the by bed head. It's like the beach waver. I cannot find it on Amazon anymore, like the exact one that I use, or at least I wasn't able to when someone asked me last time. But I know you could have found it on, um, what's it called? At Target, because that's where my mom got it, because she got the same one as me. But it's my bedhead, it's just like a beach waver. And it's purple, the one that I have. Um,. But let me know if you want me to do a tutorial on how I do my hair because I don't know, it's really easy. And for some reason, if I just regular curl my hair, my hair does not last. But if I do this, I literally have to wash my hair like once or twice a week. But I have dry, a dry scalp anyway, so I don't have like a lot of oils where it makes my hair look greasy at all. And I use dry shampoo. Anyways, if you have hair that has like produces a lot of oil, you probably won't be able to get away with just washing your hair once or twice a week. But... If I wash my hair way more than if I wash my hair more than that, then my scalp gets super dry, and then I have to use like Head and Shoulders, and it's not a fun time. And I have like dandruff in my hair. So now that I did my crease, I'm gonna go in with this flat brushes just by Eco Tools. And what makeup did I use yesterday? Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with I don't know. I meant I'm gonna go in with Golden. I really like that color. Okay, so I always spray some sort of setting spray on my brush when I'm doing like my main color on like my lid and I'm not gonna go like totally all the way over here because I'm gonna put a lighter color in there 
but right now I'm just doing my wow looks weird on the camera okay so now I'm just putting this on my lid I love like gold colors I think they're super super pretty And I feel like when you spray your brush, it just makes it look super metallic-y, which I like. So if you don't like shimmer, you are not going to like this look. But I feel like it's like shimmer, but it's not like too much. Or maybe that's just me. <laughs> I feel like I have like, I used to watch makeup tutorials like all the time. But I feel like I just, I don't have the time. Like literally... I feel like I don't watch like any, I watch YouTube a lot, but I watch like weird things. Like I'll watch like crime stuff and like documentary type things. I don't really watch like vlogs much anymore besides like Cassidy's and like a couple random <laughs> ones that I'll watch. But okay, so now that I did that, I'm gonna go in with, hmm, I might go in with honey a little bit. I'm just grabbing like a little tiny brush. I'm gonna go in with honey just a little bit. Cause it's a little bit lighter. Closer to like my inner corner right here. I feel like I look like cross-eyed when I'm like looking like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with just another little brush. I'm gonna go back with flyby. And just put this on like my inner corners of my eye. And people will think like, oh my god, this is like so much to do when you're not going anywhere or just like so time consuming. But seriously, this is like doing my makeup and working out is like the two things that I do throughout my whole day that make me feel good and that are like me time and that are just for me. So that's why I like to do them because it just makes me feel good when I'm working out and just feel like, although I'm home, like I want to feel good about myself. So yeah. Okay. Anyways, I'm going in with queen. That's this color right here. I'm going to put this in my crease with just like another dome brush and just like darken that up a little bit. I love this palette. There's so many looks I feel like you can do. And especially like even if you don't like shimmer, there's like a decent amount of mattes in there. I think it's just so pretty. Okay, so that's this. And they're shimmery, but they're not like overpowering. I should have did this. Well, I guess I didn't know that this was going to be on Black Friday deal, but... Um, when I went to go look at it again, because I was going to, when I went to go look at this palette again to see if it was like still at, like if there were any left, it was sold out. I was like, darn it. Because these would be good gifts. I got Cassidy one for Christmas. I got her the honey one because I don't know if she'd wear like the reddish type colors, like the maroon type colors, even though she would look super pretty in them. I don't know if she's like comfortable with doing them, with like wearing them. Cause some people I think like it looks like intimidating when you see it, like all those like reds and like maroony type colors, but they look so pretty once they're like blended out. Um, okay. So now I'm gonna go on do my under eye. Oh, let me blend this out first. So I'm just blending it. I'm gonna do a little bit more swarm and just blend this out. Yeah, I like it a lot. Oh, I'm, I'm hoping Tyler takes a really good nap. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with golden. That was like the lid color that I did. And I'm just putting this on my under eye. I always put shadow on my under eye because I think it just looks so much prettier when like something's under there. Even just like smoke it out just a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with the queen on the side, like 
that darkest color that I used and go for this out. And then I'll blend it all in with the swarm color. I have four more people to buy for, four or no, six more people to buy for, but they're like mostly like gift cards. They're not anything that's going to be like hard to get. Um, and since they're mainly gift cards, it's like I don't want to send them like too far out so they know who the Pollyanna is like right away. So, um, yeah. A little bit more of the flyby in my inner corner. I'm just on the bottom. This definitely makes it a little bit easier. The eyeliner that just has like the tip where it's like bendy oh my gosh like the liquid tip i cannot do that at all i have to concentrate fully when i'm doing my eyeliner like where it will not come out good at all okay so that's like as good as my eyeliner gets so that's that so i usually always use waterproof eyeliner not eyeliner mascara I'm using two different mascaras on my lashes i use waterproof on my under eye and then regular on my top lash where is wait where's my eyebrow stuff remember you guys this is not like a tutorial okay this is just a get ready with me we're just doing our makeup together and that's it i find my um lipstick too because so many people ask me what kind of lipstick i've been wearing this brow is always the hardest for me to do because i have a scar in my brow where hair doesn't grow so it's like it's so annoying to try to get them to be even because it just this one doesn't grow properly And then I just try to make it like light up in this area. Oh, that was like not the best. Oh my gosh, that's so weird that I'm doing makeup because I had a dream yesterday that I had a unibrow. That's so weird. Oh my gosh, I think that's because I saw a comment yesterday on Facebook where someone like thought that someone's daughter had like a straight up unibrow, but it was just like a piece of hair in the middle. <laughs> That has to be the reason why. That's so funny. Yeah, like, do my eyebrows look even? I feel like they never do. Thank God I think thick brows are, like, in right now because mine are definitely pretty thick on the thicker side. <laughs> eyebrow transformation has come a long way because my eyebrows used to be hit. Like, they were so bad. I'm like, what were you thinking? And just stop doing your brows at that point like why was i doing them they were horrific but anyways yeah they're still not great but i definitely feel like i've come a long way do you ever like think about when your kids see like pictures of you like you're gonna be like what the heck were you wearing because i know like when i see pictures of like my mom or dad i'm like what like, not really so much right now, but, like, when I was younger. Like, why were you wearing that? I forgot. I have often been putting on. This is by, I think this is Benefit. Gets a Benefit Roller Eye Bright Pencil. So, I just put this on my waterline. Oh, why is my battery about to die? So, it just goes on my waterline. I don't always do this, but I do do it often. So I will do it now, but now I'm just going to go ahead and let me do my um, lashes first just because my eyes, um, just because my camera's about to die, of course, and I don't even know if I have another battery charged up. Yeah, I had to go get a new battery, um, but yeah, so right now I'm using the Maybelline Lash, Sens Lash Sensational. Um, waterproof mascara and i just put this on my lower lash line i 
I don't know why I just like putting the waterproof on the bottom. I actually usually put it on the top as well, but since I got this new just regular mascara, especially for winter time because I always, always wear waterproof in the summertime. But for winter time, I figured regular is just fine. So now I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. This is just the regular one, not waterproof. Okay, so that's that. So I'm gonna do my lips and then when that dries, I'll do another coat of mascara. So this is the this is Revlon Color Stay Longwear Lip Liner in Nude. I love this lip liner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips right now. And I feel like um, I feel like lip liner makes a huge difference. Like, I feel like it looks like you've had, like, lip injections when you do your lips. And not everyone likes that look, but I do. Um, so... That's what it looks like. Um, and I didn't even like overline my lips that much. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, I also usually put um, a little bit of bronzer under my, um, what's it called? Lip. Obviously when I'm not like explaining things or talking, it's a little bit faster. Still takes me a little while, but just doing it kind of quickly, but and usually when she's sleeping and I'm not making a video, I am trying to get it done quick. So then I don't have to waste my whole time while she's sleeping to do my makeup. And then I'm going in and putting lipstick on. This is by MAC Velvet Teddy. I really like this lipstick a lot. This is actually a... This is actually a mini. I got this, um, I, think I might have got it from Sephora as like a birthday gift or something. I don't remember. I actually just got that recently though. Yeah, it might have been for my birthday. And then I'm using this. I really love this lip gloss. This is by Milani. And I know, okay, 03 Crush. It's 03 Crush Fusion. I'm B-E-G-U-I-N. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. So then I just go ahead and I just put this on a little bit. Like that. I'm just going to go over the lip liner just a little bit on my top lip. There we go. So now there we have it. There is my everyday makeup. Um, I don't always every single day put like lipstick on. I'll like just sometimes do the gloss or whatever. The last thing I do is I use my Morphe setting spray and I just spray my face. And I just pull my hair back and spray my face. Another product that I love but I don't have because I ran out is the Urban Decay um, makeup setting spray that I would like 
um i do love that a lot but this is just so much cheaper and i love the smell of that it just makes me so happy so there we go there is my makeup um but this is what i do pretty much every single day i might switch from like eyeshadows sometimes i'll i'll do whatever eyeshadow that i want to do that day um but my hair this is my favorite hairstyle um i literally now that i do my hair like whenever i have my hair straight like yesterday not yesterday the day before i washed my hair so yesterday my hair was straight and i just do not like it like at all i just don't like my hair straight um anymore like i love my hair like this especially when my hair is straight and i put my hair up in a bun or just put my hair up at all it gets a dent whereas when my hair is up in a bun or my hair is just up or anything when my hair is like this i can put it down you cannot tell at all which is why the main reason why i like it because i my hair can last a lot longer in this style than it can just straight um and i don't have to like use so much heat on it every day i don't have to straighten my hair every day like literally i don't blow dry my hair my i let my hair air dry at night and then i'll do my hair in the morning or at night after my hair is like dried i will go through it and just do my hair like the next day that next night and do my hair that's what i did um this time i just i had straight hair yesterday and then i just did my hair last night and it will stay like this for like three to four days so that's why i like doing my hair like this and this is what my makeup looks like if you can see i really really like it i love this palette it's definitely one of my favorite naked palettes i have the first one the third one and this one the third one's my least favorite i really like the first one and i love this one and this one these are like oh my two new babies especially this one you guys this one if you love these colors it's so good like i love it but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe to my channel if you haven't already let me know what other videos like this that you want to see um this is actually really, really fun to film i feel like it was really rambly but i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time bye guys <laughs>